Upper Dublin residents can now see how even an unplugged toaster will save money on next month's electric bill, thanks to the Upper Dublin Library and the new loanable kilowatt monitor. You plug it into the wall, and then you're going to plug in your appliance or electrical device. And I think it, it serves a number of purposes. One, you can see if the things you have plugged into your wall are electricity vampires. And of course, that means things like, for example, I have a speaker set for my iPod. I keep it plugged in all the time because I just want to plug in my iPod. But I guarantee you that when I plug it into here, I'm going to see that it's sucking and using electricity. Um, rather than me unplugging it every time, which is what I should do. They say that that can easily save you hundreds of dollars a year in your electricity bill just by unplugging items in your wall. Some might, might be so nominal that it doesn't make a difference, but this will help you determine that. The library is hoping that by providing kilowatt monitors for public use, residents will increase their education on energy efficiency. One thing I have heard is that when you plug something into the wall, if it remains hot, you know, the little, it means that it's sucking power, even when it's off. So that is one thing that I'm going to go around to those <clears> items <throat> in my house that are that way and see, in fact. And for, I need a new fridge. That's another thing I'm going to do is plug it into my fridge and see. Now I can talk my husband into getting a new one. For now, the kilowatt monitors are only available to Upper Dublin residents, but that is expected to change. And I think it's great that the libraries you know, supplying them to Upper Dublin residents. And that's just for now. I mean, because as Upper Dublin Library, if you work in the township, you're allowed to get a library card, even if you're not a resident. So unfortunately right now, just because we have so few, we're just limiting it to the township residents, but hopefully soon we'll expand that as we get more.